Hello YouTube on this drowsy Saturday afternoon and uh, I've got something for you today this is a Transcend SSD 32GB model that I will be putting into my Dell Latitude D610 because solid state storage is the way to go hard drives are for noobs no just kidding but uh, you know this thing is going to be thrown around uh, a lot and it's kinda of slow currently so this is definitely going to help to make this thing a little bit, a little bit more speedy, a little bit more responsive. So, you know, I just uh, found this online for uh, pretty cheap. And I was like, yeah, sure, if it's IDE and it's going, it's an SSD, then uh, hell yeah. I mean, these things take ages to ship usually. This one came here in just a week. Sometimes these things can take up to like maybe sometimes even a month. Because they're not really in stock anywhere anymore. Which I just think is weird. So this is both an unboxing of the Transcend PSD 330 32GB. As well as just a regular upgrade video, I guess. I'll give this review a more, or uh, this uh, SSD a more thorough review maybe later. So you got some screws here. So we can mount it. Which I don't think we need. There is the SSD itself in its packaging. Very nicely packed. Very simple, very light. So everything we basically got with this is a quick installation guide, a warranty card, there you go, the screws that I showed earlier, and some uh, random flyers, I guess. Transcend SSDs, Transcend RAM, memory modules, all that kind of stuff. So basically just some advertisement stuff. Not really interested in that. I am interested in this SSD. Which I can hopefully get out of there with one hand. Okay, I guess I couldn't. Still has a little bit of plastic tape on it. Okay, there we go. Focus. Am I going to focus today? I guess not. It says two and a half inch PETA SSD. This is the TS32 GPS D330, apparently. 32 gigabytes, 0.3 amps. Of course, the IDE. So, just a regular tour of the SSD right here in front, in front of the drive. Already 44 contacts for the IDE slot for the laptops, of course. Other than that, there's not much to show, just uh, four screw holes. And of course, it's a sticker that is showed already. If I'm just trying to peel off the plastic here, which I have done successfully. So now it's not as shiny anymore. I'm going to take a seat here because it's getting awfully dark. I'll be driving back and for forth to work because I needed to, uh, you know, as soon as I got home, I had the keys from one of my colleagues, so I had to rush back. And I came across a couple of uh, very, very nasty uh, showers. So, anyway, this is the Transcend SSD. We've looked enough at it. Well, looked at it enough, I must say. Or else I'm going to do little translations. And let's not get into that, shall we? Now let's remove the battery from the D610. Find an appropriate screwdriver. Let's see if this one is too fine or if it's all right. Seems to be okay. Yep. Screws are a bit tight though. It's quite obvious that this thing is actually the drive that came with it from the factory, I think. I think I need to remove some more than just that. 
Let's see, I think these two have to come out as well. I haven't uh, worked on Dells, like, ever, so... Excuse for my newbiness. Unfortunately, on this model, the screws are not labeled. In the D500 series, they are labeled, so that make th makes things a little bit easier. Okay, you know what? I'm going to open this thing up and uh, I'm going to uh, get to the video and then. Okie dokie, turns out that uh, I didn't apply enough pressure to get the thing out of there. <laughs> That's what you get with one hand and if you've uh, been at work for all day. So, yeah. This is the Toshiba hard drive that originally uh, shipped with this thing, with a proprietary converter, it seems. 40 gigabytes MK4026 GAX. 40 gig Toshiba drive. So yeah, I'm going to uh, get this drive out of here and uh, put in the SSD. Oh yeah. Okay, so the Transcend SSD is now in place, and I've found a way to make the camera focus better. So now that's actually readable a little bit better than it used to be. Finally, I know how this frickin' iPhone camera works. Anyway, the SSD is in place, place the proprietary connector. So now we are ready to slide in the drive, just below the PC card slot. Okay, I derped. Okay, let's put it in. And there we go. Tighten ye old hard drive screws. I'm not quite sure how this works. I think these actually screw in to the bottom of the drive. Also loosen some other screws on the thing. Just to make sure that I wasn't actually... going to break anything while using some more force. But I guess your strength pretty much deteriorates when you're at work all day, so... I guess that's my problem. Anyway, let's put in a battery. There we go, battery's still in there. Fully charged, ready to go. I'm not quite ready to go just yet for the installation of Windows 7 because of course we want trim support and older OS's do not support that so I'm going to see where my laptop bag is it's right over there and see if I can source my copy of Windows 7 somewhere I think it's actually in here somewhere. Let's see. It's one of these. One is Vista and one is 7. Okay, this is my Windows 7 all in one disk. It's, of course, very, very legit. I did not burn an ISO that I downloaded off the internet, and I have not just said that I did that, so yeah. But first, of course, let's uh, turn the laptop on and go into the BIOS. I think that's F2, if I'm not mistaken. Come on, Dell, show me something. Yeah, preparing to enter setup. Taking its time, I really hope it actually supports this SSD. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I saw the light flash, that's a good sign. It's a bit dim. Let's see, device info. Yeah, primary hard drive, 32 gigabyte HDD. Okay, so the 32 gig drive is indeed detected properly. Okay, that's good. So, what we have to do now 
Let's pop in the disc. Boot into Windows Setup. I want to exit. Okay, Windows 7 Setup is going to start. And I will run the almighty Windows Experience Index as soon as this finishes. So you can see what kind of scores I get. Might as well run another benchmark, something like uh, ASSSD or Crystal Disk Mark, something like that, to see what kind of speeds you can get on S an SSD on IDE. So, yeah. So far, so good. And, uh, yeah, see you in the next part. Through the magic of video editing, it's not very apparent that it is now the next day. Things go so fast on video, don't you think? So let's turn it on and see how fast she boots with the fresh copy of Windows 7 Professional and what the experience index rating is. Okay. And there it is done. Just cycling through the GMA 900 driver there. And now we are officially finished. That was quick. I've never seen a laptop with IDE boot this fast. Or any PC with IDE for that matter. Let's go to Experience Index, still a 1.0. As you can see, or maybe you can, I'm not quite sure. The hard drive, or the SSD in this case, now gets a 5.9. I think it should be hard, but I guess it's a, a limitation to Windows Experience Index for IDE drives. Which is one more reason to hate your Windows Experience Index. So let's start to open up uh, Firefox here. There we go, that's Firefox, one of the slowest starting programs ever. Here's Explorer. Usually pretty quick, this time it failed like horribly. Let's see what else. Media Player. Still gathering information online, it seems. Microsoft Software, always very quick. Explore window. Boom, instant. Let's see. Magnifying glass, everything. It's just fast as fuck, pretty much. It really doesn't feel any more like it's close to being 10 years old now. This is really the best upgrade you could ever do to a laptop that still has IDE. Just put it in an SSD. It's expensive, but it'll definitely, definitely lengthen the lifespan of your laptop. It really has done that to, in my case, so as you can see. I might actually uh, pop this SSD in my PowerBook T4 at some point to see whether I should maybe get another one for that. That would be pretty cool. I don't have any Torx screwdriver, so I can't really open the thing up, but you know, I might get one in the future, just get a T6 and then uh, get that shit over with and see how that would go. Because I've never actually used an SSD in a PowerPC Mac before. But anyway, this video is about this Dell Latitude D610 with an SSD, and as you can see, it is pretty quick. I think, by the way, yeah, I should have HD tuned so I can actually see what kind of speeds I'm getting. Let's just do a quick start here. Quick benchmark. Let's zoom in a little bit on that. We're getting minimum 82.1, maximum 84.5 megabytes per second transfer rate. It dips to 79.8 and 84. That's decent, really. I'm going to dip down to 69 megabytes per second. So it's not perfectly consistent, but it is definitely really, really quick. You're never going to see an, S an, an IDE laptop perform better than this without, you know, some kind of SATA converter, I think. So, yeah, that concludes the SSD upgrade of my Dell Latitude D610. Hope you've enjoyed this video. 
I thank you all for watching and leave a comment if you so desire. Have a nice day, people.